Hey guys, MKBHD here with a review of the Beats by Dre Solo HDs by Monster Cable. You've probably already noted that I didn't do an unboxing of these headphones, and that's because you probably know what to expect in a headphone package. What you're gonna get with the Solo HDs is the audio cable itself, separate from the headphones, and all packaged in this nice little mesh case. And as we all know, it's always great to see a headphone manufacturer that includes some extras with their headphones. So after that introduction, what I can actually go ahead and do now is show you what's in the package and how I've packaged them. Well, right now we have the Beats by Dre Solo HDs that are in the main compartment of the pouch, and you actually have your Control Talk, is what they call it, the Control Talk headphones that are a nice red and black design in the pouch that is also within the mesh case. I think if these headphones didn't come with the mesh case that it does come packaged with, it would probably be a whole different deal and might even be a deal breaker. I don't want to go too in-depth on the package, but you can see it's a nice red and black design. And on the inside, it has this pouch on the left-hand side that allows you to keep your headphones and your cables in the same pouch. So that's a nice little convenient accessory that they've included and thrown in when you're buying such a nice pair of headphones. Now, you can't do a Solo HD's headphone review without talking about the monster cables themselves. As you guys probably know, Monster Cable is best known for their cable products, HDMI, etc. And these are no exception. The Beats by Dre come with these gold-tipped right-angle and straight uh, cable that actually come separate from the headphones. So you plug the right-angle cable into your MP3 player, and you, as you can see there's four rings there, uh, one for the microphone. And on the left-hand side, you can actually plug in the straight-angle cable, and that goes directly into the Beats headphones. So if you happen to damage either the headphones or the cable, you can only replace one of them, and you won't have to go out and buy a whole new separate pair of headphones. You also notice this pretty nice control talk feature, which actually has a microphone, a volume up button, a volume down button, and a play pause button. And those will work with eye devices on this side that plugs into your actual Beats by Dre headphones. And now let's get into the headphones themselves. Well, first of all, they're extremely portable, as you can tell by number one, the case it comes in, and number two, the nice foldable design. It's made of a durable plastic, so you can still move it around, but once you unfold it and put it on your ears, it feels just about as sturdy as ever. Also, one thing to note is the customiz customizability of these headphones. You can adjust their width, their height, you can adjust how wide it is. It's really quite durable, so you can change it to whatever your head size or shape is, and it's not going to be a problem. One thing to note that I really like about these headphones is how comfortable they are. I actually wore these headphones for a six hour car ride from Pittsburgh to my actual home and it actually wasn't that difficult to wear for six straight hours. Now I did take them off occasionally to listen to some other things like the car radio but I'm telling you right now these headphones won't be a problem for up to four or five hours of listening uh, if you're doing some editing or something like that with these headphones on. Now, I can already see the comments about how these headphones aren't the most durable or how someone they know actually got a chance to break their solos or solo HDs. And I'm telling you now, those people were doing something very wrong with their headphones. As you can see by what I'm doing in this video, they're really durable and will stand up to everyday use, typical music listening, headbanging, for pretty much a, le a lifetime. These are really, really durable headphones. If you really throw them around or don't use a pouch and then just put them in a backpack or something, they might have a better chance of breaking, but if you get, take good care of your headphones, you won't have a problem with the Solo HDs. Now, pardon the appearance of a Zoom HD in a video where the control talk on these headphones doesn't actually work for anything other than eye devices, but I obviously don't have an Apple piece of hardware to demonstrate this with. So I can show you my best with the Zoom HD. The right angle uh, cable goes into the Zoom or your MP3 player. This could even be your cell phone and the straight angle actually goes into the headphones, and bam, just like that, you're connected and ready to listen to some music. You can use the control talk end of the cable to talk to people on the phone, as there is a built-in microphone, and you can also control playing and pausing of music and volume increase and decrease on your iPod, iPhone, or iPad. Overall, I have to say this is an extremely nice pair of headphones and by far the best I've ever used, and these are going to become my permanent editing headphones from here on into the future and I definitely want to thank Monster Cable for sending these out to review. I'm going to give these headphones a 9.5 out of 10 for one or two reasons actually. One, because the control talk feature doesn't actually work for the Zune HD or the Droid that I'm using. And second of all, because these headphones, after the six hour car ride that I went on, started to get uncomfortable. So if these headphones were somehow ridiculously durable and didn't uh, have any comfortable issues and actually the control talk worked with all the mp3 players in the world these headphones would be a 10 out of 10. In other words if you've got durable ears and an iPod go for these headphones.
So I hope I've told you all you need to know. And until next time, MKBHD signing out. Peace.